And there we go. All right. I go first. Looks like we're starting with Xernix. Going up against Cifreon there. And Xernix, of course, starting with that guard army. So nice. No, and even even the claw, yeah. Claw, claw army is uh, to see claws, really as strong. As long as Absorbing Man isn't there. Right, yeah. Claw, claw plus anything but Absorbing Man is a fine start so much of the time. And uh, now that Ghost has been nerfed, I think Guard Army is probably the clear-cut strongest turn one card. When combined with something else. <laughs> you, right. you gotta have literally anything to, give, anything to go with it, right? Otherwise, see now, oh. see, whereas now you're, you lose your other unit, right? Having the bigger one there was actually a detriment because wow. the secondary unit died before the Guard Army, and you don't get the buff going anywhere, and it's wasted. And that feels bad, but still, um, Zernik's in fine position here. Now, now having the bigger agent and finding the ah. Pegasus to pair with that guard army, so nice. Not there punished at all. Yeah, totally rewarded. Everything's fine on the board of Zernix. Not sad at all about that. Just a little yeah. bit of bad luck in the He's opening round, fine. but you'll only take a three. Don't really care. It's fine. Yeah. Yep. I, I would yep. be happy Absolutely to take fine. three to get that to get that board oh, starting pretty much every game. Complete. Yeah. Hmm. Look at Blackpink here. A little, little here. worse here on Blackpink's board. No, no guard unit. Uh, he's got a couple three units. He does have Deathbird, but because there's no guard, he's not guaranteed to go first. Mm. And it's gonna hit on Okoye. So the Model One getting a little bit stronger there. Rocket's not gonna get any kills. Oh, I think the board. From Tonto might be just a hair too big because of the armor there, yeah. Oh no, it's one point ahead for Blackpink. Yeah. Yep. Wow, nice. Yeah, and the, the rocket going down, extra punishing there because if he would have gotten a kill and just triggered off for that extra two damage, uh, as he did get that changed in the most recent it, patch. Yeah. His his one star gets plus one damage now instead of just number of Guardians of the Galaxy units, which would is which is often just one by himself. Uh, now when he's by himself, it's worth two points. And that's uh, that's often a difference maker here in the uh, the early stages of the game, the first two uh, two to three rounds. That one extra point. I hope I'm not too late. Definitely. Uh, so we see a foster here. there for Just Cifreon. The tempo level up. For sure. Interesting. He's at 14 health though, so let's see if this pays off for him. Yeah, maybe just deciding to to take off here, and uh, start chasing those six drops early. I, well, the oh, last see, two see games, taking the foster. I, mean, I, I think that he switched up his style to be more tempo, but he's gotten very okay. lucky the last two games finding a two-star mask in the first two, three turns. For sure. Yeah, typically, you know, like that's just that's just RNG at that point because you're not spending enough time really rolling and thinning to make it, you know, any, any yeah. sort of guaranteed. Uh, also, in pretty far behind here against uh, Blackpink. Gonna need, uh, uh, yeah. Gonna need uh, a good Deathbird hit, I think, to uh, maybe be able to catch up here. That's army. nice. Yep. Guard army will carry Let's see. This. Oh, yeah. Gar yep. Okay. G guard army on the Deathbird. That's probably good enough. And then the no, yep. the no hit up. Yep. Cifreon able to take the win. Stem, stem the, uh, stem the bleeding a little bit, and. Uh, Gonna need preserve to preserve <laughs> the life. Yeah, only, only five units on board is pretty scary at, at turn four here. So, uh, gonna need to round things out a little bit. Looks like we can't quite see what's in the shop. Let's get a spectator switch here if we can. Head over to somebody else. And don't worry, guys. There's nothing wrong with Cifreon. We're just uh, a, a little spectator. I think a little spectator bug. Just need to be able to see as we are spectating bug. Um, bug with the bug. See what's going on. Bug with the bug. However, bug with the gladiator that's already had a win and the gravity mine to uh, probably lock in a win here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Doesn't look like anybody found uh, firepower, so he's looking good. Yeah, no firepower. Uh, three mighty power. Is that a uh? uh what does bug have? Is that the uh, soul mastery? I think so. Okay. And take flight for Xernix, uh, which could pair really nicely with something like Captain Marvel. 
And then uh, Zex is on the. Uh, isn't that the uh, the find uh, find an Asgardian? Is that the, it's either that or it's the um, the buffet one where you uh, get oh, a random right. Asgardian power. Oh, it's the buff. Yeah, yeah. You're you're right. You're right. Yep. Yeah. It, it is the the grant a random Asgardian the buff, uh, which you can get that going with a Thor or something. That's pretty nice. But look at this. Yeah. That gravity mine, doing work for Cyprian. Great find. For get him, Nova. Hmm. I wonder I'm if Cyprian no changed stuff. its build to an uh, ego build. I mean, we see a two-star gladiator, which is definitely not something yeah. we saw in previous games from him. So I'm, I do wonder if it's a, a switch up here on the part of Cyprian. Just trying to, yeah, change the tempo, like, confuse everyone. Mm -hmm. Gamify a little bit. Uh, looking at Zex here, does get the, uh, the four-star mask, the four-star agent. The four star model one. Why not? <laughs> Feeling good. And you know, one of those masks he found, it looks like, was off a of random card draw. Because he has that one extra in the shop. Oh, the agent, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what the schemes bring. We saw a Hydra Bombardment there. That's a nice find. We saw an A bomb charge. That's a nice find. What's number th scheme number three going to bring? To the hand for Zex. Thinking Let's about see. it. Think. So it's plenty of time to make this decision as, uh, okay, and the Foster, sure, and then you can cycle that through on the guard army. Yep. I hope I'm not yep. too late. And then get the mask on board and take your one upgrade. Yep. Easy. And back to 18 Put health. Uh, get that charge going, yeah. And the banquet, yeah, you're right there on the, the banquet, so. Yeah. I also would have put it on the Mark 1 of the armor, yeah. But I, I don't know if it's going to be too much of a difference. That's just a really nice board here for turn 5. However, going up against Bug, also on that Gladiator. Doing Gladiator things. Uh, the, that Extremist is online, so it will have oh. crit. Uh, nice okay. trade there, though. Yeah. Get a little extra damage on the Destroyer. And the crit kind of goes to waste. It's going to depend on where this Death Bird hits. Oh, Ooh. fantastic hit for his ex. Yeah, that's exactly what you want. And then the and then the crit goes down as well. Man, things are uh, things are looking good for Zex. The uh, the model one's just big. And there goes the crit. Yeah. And there goes the destroyer. Yep. And those gladiators are yeah. shrinking, not growing this turn. Bug, no. Not Boy, quite getting that snowball get, you that you're looking and for. And you don't get a snowball in Gladiator. Oh, right. things are going downhill quick. And Zernix, Zernix has gone out. Wow. So we see a uh, yeah. double upgrade here for Zex going up to five. No surprise there. Let's take a quick look at Tonto. Tonto. He made Ooh, it healthy has... to turn to shop six, 36 yeah. health. 36 health, got the four star mask, rolling. And uh, we see a Thanos there with a snap in hand. I just wonder if that's the first thing you find and just say, okay, I'm just going to jam 30 points of body on the board. Yeah. It's a consideration also just using the snap here because your board may be not the strongest. I'd probably, yeah, I'd probably still hold it though because it's still an out in case you run into uh, an ego and you know for sure Bug is using it. And you might have a That's clue right. that Cyprian is on it. Wonder if consideration of a lock there, maybe with the. Uh, I think I would have locked that as well. The two, uh, two star or the two two cost units there that could potentially become four stars just for the uh, the schemes. Yeah, but you primarily though you you want to get to those six cost cards. You want the Thor's That's true. nanotechs. So we're seeing the ego here. Um, he he used the axe. He's going a little bit. Pretty fortunate for Bug here. The Thanos attack gets wasted on the zero power uh, gladiator. But it's pretty much going to be all on the ego here to make this happen and uh, try and try and get some good swings in and dodge uh, dodge getting hit too hard. Oh, that's a nice death. Nice De death. That's hit. yeah, yeah. 
And uh, looks like this is going to be great. Yeah, and now that ego is going to get the kill. Going to be some ego One food. way or the other. Oh, and it hits the Thanos for 30. 30 power. Mm. That's some big food, yeah. That is some big food. So now, Bug, uh, Bug does says, get a thank win. Thank you very much, Tonto. <laughs> and finally, I'm going to get going with this ego. You know, seven rounds into game number two. But we look at Tonto here, who says, yeah, that's cool. I got Moondragon, I got Iron Man, I'm, I'm ready to roll. Ah, that's a fantastic Crimson job. Dynamo. Yeah, give, give me the cash. Don't mind if I do. That's that's really good. Can move off this mask here, can move off the Death Bird. Uh, sitting at shop six. Yeah. Can get that Wisely Iron Man in. places the Thanos first, so he gets the first assault. That's right. The, the high base power, yeah. Only, uh... I believe only Surtur is bigger at 40, as yep. far as base power goes for a one star. Um, so, and uh, Cifreon did indeed switch into an ego build, and we see the ego here and okay. the gladiators, both of which have been snowballing. Uh, yeah, so maybe a clever switch here from Cifreon, maybe a little bit of a misdirection in game one, and now here in game number two, doing something a little bit different. There goes the Stormbreaker. Ooh, nice Stormbreaker. Angel's gonna. Rock, but it's only going to be for six. It's not going to make too, too much of a difference, at least yet. And this ego is going to swing. Oh, and I'll take a 30 points as well. Thank you. 60. Make that 60, right, because he's a two-star. Oh, no. Yeah. Cifreon is looking to be in very good shape here. And the crit here is going to trade up. The model one's going to trade in, and that's another ego kill there. Nothing huge, power. but still, uh... Wait, wait, no, that's uh, 48, right? Uh, yeah. He's not, no, he's not a 4 star. She's 12. She's 12. Yeah. 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 Oh, boy. So still only, only one player out going into round 8 here. And uh, just getting some buffs up on the uh, on the snowball units for Cifreon, building the biggest possible board rather than chasing the 4-star Gladiator. Interesting strategy. So it looks like he stayed on four until he hit and, a two-star ego, and then he leveled up. Sure, and can still take a roll here for free. So you might as well, right? Just to yeah. take a look. Yeah. Because he's on uh, he's on mighty power, which is a free roll each turn. So you might as well at least look and see. It might be nothing. It might be something worth locking. It's not going to cost you anything, and you're not locking that board. Uh, here we see. Zex, sitting on 42 health, has uh, been able to stay nice and healthy, not drop any rounds after uh, after leveling up to 6. And it's going to be Zex and Cifreon, so these are two uh, two power players here. However, Cifreon with the Ego, and no answer on Zex's board for that Ego. Uh, he does have the shield on Thor. That's true. But, just lacking in power, and and uh, no, no Moon Dragon or anything like that. So let's see how it goes, but oh, oh yeah, that shield doesn't matter on the ego. <laughs> yeah, that shield doesn't matter for a couple reasons. One, there's an ant man, and puncture on the ego on top of that says, uh, yeah, I don't care. And those gladiators are nice read. Uh, nice read by Safe knowing that there's gonna be a lot yeah. of Thors pick up the puncture. You face Thor Odinson, God of Thunder! But no, no way this oh, uh, this ego is going down here. No. Nope. If it had hit the four now, star, it, yeah, no. Nah. And now this is just going to be extra oh, food here a, for the ego. There's another thirty. The two, yep. Yeah, and then the two the two extra cards as well. So going to get something. Just the just the Falcon, just four, so eight. Yeah. Not oh, too boy, much, but uh, the 30 to there. Get out of control. And folks certainly have the answers. We've, we've seen the answers in hand as uh, Bug goes out again. So uh, looks like Cifria has taken over here with the with the ego play as Bug can't quite get it going. And Zex on the uh, on the big blue here, yeah. sticking the Hulk has Still a high period. Still has not found an attack. Uh, swapping into the Hyperion. There's the buff on the Thor. Right, because, yeah, s selling the guard army makes sense now because now all those buffs will go on to Thor every single time. Yep. 
And looking at Blackpink here, just trying to build a big Angela, not a bad play. And jamming six drops so that there's a big nanotech. Still hanging on to that, uh, that snap as well. Oh, that's not who you that, want to line up against Angela. Uh, that's going to be a kill, isn't it? No, it's going to be two off. Oh, and the Iron Will anyways. Right, right, yeah, Iron Will. Iron Thanks. Will, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like, no, it's going to be great. No, it's, it's not great. It's, it's not great <laughs> at all. Uh, Stormbreaker's going to pop here. Assuming that doesn't hit, yeah. But I don't know if that's going to be enough. The, the, uh, the Hulk doesn't go down either. So the buff, the the buff remains. Just so big. Oh my goodness, and look at those finds off that Hyperion. Oh, that's a nice, gross, yeah, that's, that's disgusting. That's a nice Green one. Goblin and Supreme. Notably, that Supreme does not uh, come in to play stun Oof. because it came in off of a summon. Yeah, little little extra, little extra ouch there. But the Nanotech Hyperion probably just going to be a little much here. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Still, both players selfie. Yeah. Getting the five drops off Hyperion is scary. Yeah, he can get pretty crazy. Oh, there's a nano attack for it. <laughs> there's a nano attack. Uh, unfortunately, doesn't really have anybody else to, to jam on. one on. Still yeah. gonna buy it. Yeah. <laughs> like you could put it on that other Hyperion, but ideally you get the fourth Hyperion and then you get to pick up your Stormbreaker and save it. Oh there's wow! The fourth found. Yep. He's gonna still have an extra nano attack though. The... Well, let's see what comes off the ski. Maybe maybe you can find a way to uh, find somebody to jam it on. That's pretty good, too. Yeah. That'll work right. against the... Yeah, he's Double up snap Sifion, coming in here. So he is, he is snapping yeah. that ego. Double snapping the ego. Iron Man. And unfortunately, stranded in hand are some great weapons. Oh, boy. That you can't really That's do anything with. Yeah. Grabs the Yondu as well. Let's see how this Angela goes. The Moon Dragon, the Ego. We got a double snap coming in before all of this goes off, though. So let's see what happens. So it's going to animate twice before we see anything go off. There's the second animation. And missing the Ego. Destroy. Oh, it. no, he, he didn't it. miss. The second yep. one cleared the whole board. The second oh, one got them all. And the double four stars off that oh, Hyperion man. means that's a oh. lot of pain for Cifreon. Yeah. Punisher, now there's somebody we haven't range. seen in a while. Punisher coming back for his revenge, finally. <laughs> so the double <laughs> snap gets there, there, however... Yeah, the, you only get to do that uh, that double snap trick once, uh, so... Gonna have to find another out here. And Cifreon says, ah, a little bit of bad luck, but, you know, I'm not really scared, as that's a one-time effect only. Uh, let's kick it over to Tonto versus Zex. They're going back and forth. A two-star Miss Marvel on board. Two two-stars Miss Marvels on board, interestingly for Zex. One of those had to have been generated off of Hyperion. It had Taunt. Or Guard, excuse me. Yeah. Um, there's a big Hyperion on the other side of the board, however, for Tonto, so I'm pretty sure that's going to be enough think, to... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Especially with Thor handing handled. into it. Yeah. And a bad hit off the Moon Dragon means extra. maximum damage, yeah. Four players still on the board. Ooh, four star Hyperion. Four star Hyperion. Yeah, this is the game of four star Hyperions, which is scary because they do start uh they do start making some crazy thing happen. We see uh you know we're seeing the four star five costs come out of them. Alright, so we put the nanotech on the Thor, we got the moon dragon. Mm -hmm. uh, this board feels just uh, a little board, a little behind what everybody else is doing, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Just compared compared to what the other players have going on, and is that uh, is that wow, ego got a drops assault on? <laughs> safe around with the four oh the opening the act <laughs> and the nanotech and the nanotech, but the opening act is gonna stop that ego at least for a minute. Eh, and the moon dragon gonna hit deal. that gladiator. Hundred twenty six puncture power, plenty. Iron Man with the puncture, pushing some pain there. Yeah. Ego though is stunned and he's not gonna be able to feed. But even just that Thor is gonna be enough here at four stars. You face Thor Odinson, God of Thunder! 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, however, as you mentioned, that uh, that ego only getting a minimal hit here was unable to hit any of those big juicy targets. Yeah, that's only like it does get a knockout. <laughs> yeah. So Zex goes out here. I believe that puts Zex in fourth place. Oh, a tie for third. So uh, we had somebody else go out there tie as well. So Zex and Tonto both went out. So it's Blackpink and Cifreon here. Our two remaining players in game number two. Uh, Blackpink knows. Yeah, gonna take the snap. Oh, Gotta man. snap away that uh, Another that snap ego. coming at Cifreon. <laughs> That's right. I mean, it, it is uh, it is a great answer to, to that particular problem. You're leaving it up to RNG, but it's a great way to delete a very scary part of the board, at least. Let's see how it works. Here we go. After all the nanotechs <laughs> line up. All right, here we go. <laughs> Snap. Ooh. Got it. Nice hit. Got it. And, look and I at, think that might be enough to win received. the game. Yeah. I think it is, too. The moon ah, dragon the on moon the gladiator. Hits, yeah, game oh. over. Yeah, that's it. Wow. And Blackpink, with a great snap there, takes game number two. Cifron probably happy with second place after winning game one. Uh, and certainly happy with how that Ego deck performed. Just uh, bad luck with the snaps there, but you got you to 